good morning. New vlog. It is Tuesday and I just got out of lab. I look atrocious. That's new. And I'm about to head in, eat a quick lunch, and then head to the dental office. But tonight should be a night that I can do something fun. Or maybe I'll film like some other type of video other than a vlog. We'll see. I don't know. But it is Rita's first birthday today. So I am going to go in and give her some love, make lunch, and I will check back in with you guys at some point later. If you are not already subscribed, welcome to the channel. I guess I should have started with this. My name is Lexi. I'm a third year dental student. I live in Buffalo, New York, and I just vlog my life. I mean, right now I'm doing the July vlog challenge, so I'm trying to vlog every day. I don't know if they're interesting, but once July is over, I'm gonna get up just like on a regular posting schedule of different kinds of videos plus vlogs. And dental school is also kind of boring to vlog right now because it's mainly online. I did get some clips in lab today, um, but yeah, I don't know. But if you're enjoying these, subscribe, like the video. I don't know what YouTubers say, but follow me on Instagram. All right, we're gonna go before I embarrass myself more. Bye. Lola, sing with me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rita. Happy birthday to you. Give kisses. No? Okay. Hi. Rita, did you enjoy your birthday treat? Did you enjoy it? Say, I'm one. I'm one. Okay, disregard that on top of my head. I just needed my hair out of my face. I'm going to fill up my ice water, head downstairs to the bike, do a spin class online, and then maybe do a little ab workout. And then I am going to take a nice hot shower, probably. I was gonna say cold shower, but let's be honest. I'm gonna take a nice hot shower, get all comfy, cozy, and watch TV and lay down on the massage chair. That is the plan for right now. Okay, I'm exhausted, but that was a really good workout. I didn't feel like doing a set class so I actually made a playlist on Spotify and did like a rhythm ride to it um, so I just rode to the beat of each song I'm gonna link that playlist down below because it's like all of the popular TikTok songs right now that were all stuck in my head and it was actually a really good ride so if you have a bike at home check that out and then I did a seven minute ab workout and her name is Tasha I will put her name right here on the screen <laughs> her Instagram, but uh, that was my first time doing a workout by her and it was seven minute abs and it was really, really good. It was quick, but it burned. So hopefully I'm sore tomorrow, um, but I'm going to hop in the shower and rinse off because I feel disgusting. Okay, so a couple vlogs ago, you guys saw that I got this new bag from Amazon and I got a couple DMs asking me to do a like what's in my dental school bag video. Um, so, this is just honestly what's in, what's in there day to day. I didn't prepare to do this, but I was like, well, today was kind of a boring day. So why don't we just go through it and see what's in there? I think it's just, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be exciting, but I'll take you through. So this is the bag. I have it linked in that video where I got it. It's on my Amazon shop also, which is in the description of most of my videos now, but so first in these little pockets, I have my AirPods. It has like a little silicone case on it, a reusable mask. It's the Boohoo Peach one is the one I've just been, that's been in this bag. Um, next is my school ID card and this cute little ID badge holder that is from Lilac Paper. It's like a little Etsy shop and I found them on Instagram and they sent me this. Super cute and very convenient. Oh, let's see. Might as well get these out of the way. Cheetos puffs. I always have just some sort of snack for emergencies if I'm starving and at school or even just like on the go and I have this bag. Um, then I have my laptop charger and I keep it in this just so that the wire isn't all over my bag. Um, I wanna say I got this with the zip pouch that my laptop's in that you'll see in a second, but I think this was also just from Amazon. 
Then I have two pairs of blue light glasses. Um, I don't usually keep two pair in here, but there were two in here. I typically rotate between all the different blue light glasses that I have, but these are the ones from Zenny. These are actually the first pair of blue light glasses that I ever got. Very comfortable, just simple like navy blue with a tortoise shell. There you go. And then these are the diff ones that you guys have seen me wear in a bunch of vlogs that I got a couple vlogs back. They look like this. A little bit more of a fashion statement than just the plain ones, but I don't know. I've been rotating between a couple different ones, so there is that. Move those Cheetos puffs out of the way. Next um, are these reusable masks that one of my fellow dental student peers, um, he's a fourth year student, gave to me to try out. I will put his Instagram right here also. Um, he made these masks and then he has these cool little straps so that if you don't like the feeling of the masks on your ears, you can just strap this behind your head if you're wearing masks for a long period of time. And then just a black and red like checkered pattern. So there's those. I need to get better about like rotating which mask I wear. Um, but so that's why those are in there. And then I can probably take this out because I haven't had much free time to even use it. But this is my Kindle and my little, oh, the battery's dead. So I definitely need to take it out. But my little Harry Potter case, this is also just from Amazon. Um, and I have the Kindle Paperwhite. Yeah, I had it in here because for a bit, I thought I would have more free time to just like pick it up and read. And it's like light. So I figured why not? Then the bag has like a little laptop pouch. So inside that, first I have iPad. Um, I need to back it up, it says, but here's my iPad with the Apple Pencil. This case is from Amazon and I like it because it has an Apple holder, Apple Pencil holder in it. And when this comes over the screen, it locks it automatically with a magnet. So I like that. I've actually been using this quite a bit. And then the last thing in here is just my laptop. This is the case that I believe came with this when I got them. Um, but I like to have this just because it's a little extra layer of protection. Inside here, I probably need to clean this out, but I have a bunch of stickers in case I want to switch up the stickers on my laptop. Um, another keyboard cover. I don't know why I'm keeping this one in here because I have one on there right now, but... I don't know a like screen wipe as well as some extra webcam covers i should go put that on the desktop upstairs actually but there's that oh the case that that fell out of and the other one is in here somewhere and then i have this it's like 128 gigabyte little USB. I actually just use it to put my YouTube videos on it so that my laptop isn't clogged with big files like my YouTube videos. So that is why I got that from Amazon also. It was pretty affordable actually. And then another Amazon recent purchase is the USB-C to USB little adapter. I got some from Five Below a while back and they're actually still in here, but they tend to like disconnect really easily. Um, they were really cheap. They were like three or five bucks. But So I have them in here, but I do prefer this one. Also linked on my Amazon shop. I try to link everything that I buy and like on there. So if there's anything you see and I say it's from Amazon, it's probably on my Amazon shop in the description. And then I guess I could show my actual laptop. Um, screen protector because if we ever do go back to regular classrooms, this is what my school requires when you're taking quizzes or tests so that people next to you can't see your screen. Um, I just slide it on and it stays when I'm taking any sort of quiz or test. Um, and then here is my laptop. It is a MacBook Pro. I just have a bunch of stickers on it. The blue case is from Amazon also. And yeah, so I don't know if that was exciting, but for those of you that asked, there you go. I know my face was like cut out of frame, but I wanted to sit in front of the window because of the lighting, so yeah. That is what's in my school bag, and now I have to reorganize all of it and put it back in there. <laughs> Great. Actually religious, but you comfy, Rita? Can't really baptize the kid, though. Just so he doesn't end up in hell. Watching How to Get Away with Murder, season five. Do you think it helped us?
Laying with the pets. Don't worry. Laying on the massage chair. Oh, so nice. Okay, really quick, I just want to have a little chat. So I just want to say thank you. Um, I was very hesitant to start a YouTube channel. And then about a year ago, I was hesitant to kind of take my Instagram more seriously, I guess. And I, I'm just so grateful that I did. And I know that this is still such a small platform and I'm okay with that. But I truly have like the coolest followers on Instagram and on my YouTube channel. Like people are very loyal and they watch my videos right away and things like that. And I can't wait to keep growing. But I am just so grateful that <clears throat> I am able to amass the following that I am, I guess. And I know it's small and that's okay with me. This isn't my full-time job. This isn't ever going to be my full-time job. I just think that I enjoy watching YouTube videos because it makes me sort of leave my own reality. But it also helps me relate to other people. And I don't know, put me in a better mood when I'm not in such a great one. So I hope that these do the same for you. And with our podcast, for example, we started that just because it's something that we enjoy listening to and we talk to each other anyways every week. And so we just wanted to, I guess, create another platform together. We love working together as sisters. And now it's given us the opportunity to work with a bunch of really cool people that, you know, I watch on YouTube or I listen to their podcasts and now we get to record with them and, you know, meet them and make these connections. And I'm just so, so grateful for... I guess these opportunities that I've gotten to work with cool brands and things like that. And don't get me wrong, like I want to keep going and just keep growing from here, especially on my channel, you know, that you guys are watching right now because it is small, but I don't want you guys to think that I'm only doing this for a following or for money with brand deals or things like that. Like I genuinely enjoy editing photos, editing videos, you know, recording the podcast and just sort of chatting about things that, you know, People chat about with their friends, but now I get to do it on the internet. And I don't know, this probably sounds cheesy and you guys are probably like, okay, you need to relax because you have like hardly any followers. But I just want to say I'm grateful for all the opportunities that I have through my social media platforms and for Gabby for helping me, you know, with any questions I have regarding, you know, even things as little as like iPad drawings or things like that, because this is her full-time job. And so it's just been great working with my sister and getting to do all these things. But... Thank you, I guess is all I'm trying to say. And then I'm very grateful for this. And I can't wait to see where this channel goes. Um, I think that my days are very repetitive, but I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on the videos. So I'm going to keep making them. Um, hopefully I will, you know, settle in and get better at this as it goes. But for right now, it is so new, but I'm enjoying it. So thank you guys once again. And on a different note, I'm going to start posting on TikTok a lot more because Gabby and I made a bunch <laughs> and they are so fun. I need to get on that app, especially before it freaking goes away. But go follow me on TikTok if you're not already.